Hi guys, I'm Mark, a scuba diving instructor from Safe Diving. And I'm Mark Evans, editor-in-chief of Scuba Diver Magazine. So in this series of videos, we're going to be taking a closer look at an entire range of the newest scuba diving equipment, and all of these videos are sponsored by Mike's Dive Store, the UK's largest scuba diving retailer, and they hold most of these items in stock at all times. They're also doing their bit for sustainability by moving to eco-friendly packaging. And they also donate 1% of all their online profits to the marine conservation charity Sea Changes. So let's jump straight in. So this is the fourth element Argonaut dry suit. Um, this is a trilaminate suit. You want to see their neoprene suit. If you want to check here, you'll see our review of their Hydra. Now back to this suit. Uh, this is their top of the range suit. Um, it's more described as their technical suit. Uh, doesn't mean you have to be a technical diver to dive it. Uh, it's just, it's really been aimed at expedition divers. It's very tough. A lot of cave divers use it. Um, so the good thing is, if you're only doing recreational diving, you know it's going to withstand the rigors that you put it through because you're not going to be putting it through the ringer like they would be. Uh, so let's start from the bottom and work our way up. The Argonaut boots, great boot, uh, nice thick sole. Um, so again, when you're walking on any rough terrain, you're not going to feel uh, any sharp stones through. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of shore diving or anything, very comfortable. Um, the neoprene strap uh, that goes around here that holds the ankle in, it prevents any migration of air down your leg into your feet, so you don't end up with the floaty feet syndrome. Um, so that's a nice neat feature. It's got these nice knee pads on there. Um, not that you should be kneeling down too much anyway, but if you're scrabbling around setting your kit up at the beginning, this will just prevent any abrasion on the suit itself. Now, while we're here, let's talk about the material. This is the Argonaut Stealth. They do it in two different versions. They do it with a normal trilaminate membrane material, but this Stealth material is very thin and lightweight. It's got a little bit of stretch to it as well, so when you're in, it's nice to move around in. There's no restriction or anything. Um, but apart from the boots, which have a little bit of weight because of them being rubber, it's actually a very light suit. So if you were using this to go to the Mediterranean, for instance, in the, uh, in the winter, it's not going to eat up all of your valuable baggage allowance. Uh, it's a trilaminate uh, torso suit, uh, which is nice because it's easy to get into with the cross torso zip. Um, and then you have this uh, crotch zip, which comes underneath. So it basically just holds everything down nice and tight. Um, it's got a pocket on either side, uh, big bellows pocket. Um, on the flap, it has a zipper here, which is handy for small things, uh, backup torch, uh, small cutting tool, etc. But inside, there's loads of room for a DSMB and a spool, etc. Um, there are D rings inside for securing your gear. Um, they've also got these little bungee cords, um, and there's a little um, slot down the back where you can put a slate if you're an instructor. Uh, I've often seen people attaching the slates to these so they can pull them out, refer to them, but if they drop them, they're not going to disappear. They're the same on both sides, so you've got plenty of storage space. Uh, the cross torso zip is the lightweight plastic zip, um, so very flexible and easy to move in compared with a more traditional metal zip. The end, you do need to make sure that you put some of the little gel that you get with the suit on, otherwise you will get wet. Believe me, I know. Um, just make sure you do that on every dive and you'll be fine. Moving up, uh, got a nice traditional Apex uh, inflation valve. Um, it swivels uh, for wherever your dry suit whip comes around. Nice, easy, push button, works like you'd expect. Same with the shoulder valve. Um, just a traditional Apex one, spin it open, spin it to lock, uh, or adjust anywhere in between to your heart's desire, uh, or you can just press it and it will vent as well in an emergency if it was fully locked. Um, it's got a nice soft latex neck seal um, with this neoprene surround, which just adds a bit of extra warmth. When you've got your hood on, you can tuck it inside um, and it just prevents any cold water getting sitting in there and making you feel a little bit chilled. Um, this is actually my suit, which is why it looks a little bit uh, worn. Uh, it's been well used um, and it's a great suit. Um, like I said, nice and lightweight. You can travel with it, um, but it will more than be up to the rigors of your uh, weekend cold water diving. 
Now with the Argonaut, you get this nice bag from Fourth Element. Um, it actually doubles as a dry bag. Um, nice Velcro opening. Once you've got your dry suit folded up at the end of the day, you put it in here, this is completely and utterly dry. So you don't have to worry about it leaking all over the floor in the back of your car, um, which is a nice feature. Um, you get five mil hood, um, nice colorful, comfortable hood from Fourth Element. Uh, probably one of the better ones on the market. Keeps you nice and warm. You also get a set of their comfort insteps to go into the bottom of the Argonaut boots, but they're currently fitted. Definitely put them in. Does make a vast difference to the comfort of your feet, believe me. Um, remember, if you want to find out about this suit or any more suits, uh, check out mikesdivestore.com uh, or you can go into the store. Go and see them, they'll size you up, make sure that the dry suit is gonna fit you properly. So if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll never miss out on any future installments. If you're still undecided, check out this video where you can find out why you should be diving in a dry suit, or check out this video, which is everything you need to know about diving in a dry suit in general. Stay safe.